Born on June 18, 1942, Sir James Paul McCartney is an English singer-songwriter, record producer, film and television producer, bass guitarist with the Beatles, and co-vocalist. James. On June 18, 1942, Paul McCartney was born at Walton Hospital in the Walton neighborhood of Liverpool. His father James, also known as Jim McCartney, was a volunteer firefighter during World War II. Therefore, he was not present when his son was born. Paul's younger brother, Michael, was born in 1944. While their mother's beliefs led the McCartney brothers to be named after saints at the Catholic Church, there was not a strong religious element in the family because Jim had previously been a Protestant and later converted to agnosticism. He and John Lennon are the greatest songwriting duo in history. Following the band's dissolution in 1970, he pursued a solo career and founded the band Wings with his first wife Linda and self-taught musician Denny Lane. McCartney is renowned for his flexible, wide tenor range, melodic bass playing style, and eclecticism. He is proficient on various instruments including the bass guitar, organ, and drums. In 1957, McCartney joined the Quarrymen and started his professional career. Later, in 1960, the group renamed itself the Beatles. Since the release of Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band in 1967, he has steadily emerged as the band's de facto leader, serving as the inspiration for the majority of their musical and cinematic works. I adore her 1964 and the Beatles tunes. In the 1970s, McCartney made his solo debut with the album McCartney. Throughout the 1970s, he led Wings, one of the most successful bands of the decade, with over 10 internationally successful singles and albums. Yesterday, 1965, Eleanor Rigby, 1966, and Blackbird, 1968, rank among the most covered songs in history. In 1980, McCartney started up his solo career again. He started touring as a solo musician in 1989 and established the partnership in 1993. The young firefighters from Killing Joke, one of the best-selling musicians in the world, McCartney has penned or co-written 32 number one hits on the Billboard Hot 100. As of 2009, these songs have sold 25.5 million certified RIA copies in the U.S. He has received 18 Grammy Awards, been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame twice, been named a member of the British Empire in 1965, and, as of 2020, been knighted for his services to music. He is also among the wealthiest musicians globally, with an estimated net worth of £800 million. In a candid interview with Mojo Magazine in 2021, the musician said that he was depressed, calling it a very trying period in his life. Looking back on his drinking habits, McCartney said that he self-medicated by drinking more than he had ever done at the time, and probably more than he has ever done since, because he was very distressed about someone attempting to take all of the money he and his wife had ever made. McCartney once claimed that he overdid it. I believe that I was only trying to get away from myself. In a 2020 interview with British GQ, McCartney said, I had the freedom to have a drink whenever I fancied. His wife Linda, at the time, intervened and told him to cool off. It's funny that McCartney talked about overcoming his sadness. When I first met Linda, she was living in New York after her divorce, with a child, and on her alone. He started music, music, Music overseas, music, you know what? I'm not going to let this depression get the better of me. If it does, I'll end up in the hands of other people, and I can't let that happen. So she kind of pulled herself up by the bootstraps and said, I have to get out of this myself. I believe that's what helped me overcome the depression by realizing that it was severe and that I had to take action. When McCartney hears himself thinking self deprecating thoughts, he challenges them by saying, This is not cool, you're not as bad as you think you are in an enlightening example. McCartney described this as his method of combating depression, virtually acting as his own doctor. McCartney demonstrated how he modifies his pessimistic ideas. 
Every time you write a song, you're thinking this is crap, this is terrible, he said. He says, come on, so I kick myself and say if something is horrible, get it better. Occasionally, a respected person will say, no, that's great, don't worry about that, and then they'll point out a side to it that you missed. Oh yes, McCartney 80 agreed that regardless of one's identity or accomplishments, this is a typical occurrence. In reference to his fellow artist Lady Gaga, who was incredibly successful and at the top of her game, when she opened out to him about her self-loathing, he said, I kind of get what you mean, but I'm not allowing that I'm not having that. It's not a road I want to go down. Thanks for watching my video.